Are sphere launchers good in Power World? The answer is one thirds of a yes. We have the scatter shot, as seen as such. We have the single shot. And we have the homing sphere launcher. The capture rate depends on the ball you use, by the way. I'm using cheap ones for the example here. So the scatter shot is the second one you unlock. And this is probably the single worst, it is the worst sphere gun by far. You shoot 15 balls that have zero tracking at all. And that's just wasteful, bro. That is beyond wasteful. The single shot, it's, it's not, it's not that good. You can basically throw a ball better than you can shoot it. Like right here, I shot, I throw. It's, it's like the same distance. What's the point in making a launcher if it doesn't launch the ball? Now, the redemption factor, and the reason why it's one thirds of a yes, is the homing sphere launcher is kind of wicked. Peep. I just call all three of those nerds. And this is good and beneficial when you're trying to capture chickpeas, especially since those are immensely useful when you're making cakes. Not only because chickpeas make eggs, but also because they help you breed into bee guards, I believe, and also mazarinas. So this is the easy thing you can do once you get level 50. If you make a homing sphere launcher, you come here, you can fly around and you can AC-130 snatch the chickens from their house and home. If you want to capture high level piles with a homing sphere launcher, you could do some back shots perhaps, but a more practical method is actually using the fire and poison bows and just hitting them once or twice. And then all of a sudden you have a hundred percent capture rate. I know it's, what the, how are you deflecting that? I know it has lower HP, sure. But if I get one low, I guess normally, which I think I have nothing that's low damage to do this with. I'm at 95%. But if I do this, that is a higher level SWE with more HP with a 100% capture rate. This guy's 95. 100%. 100%. 100%. This guy deflects. 97. See? I think the point is hopefully made, and I'll probably make a way more in-depth video on this. In fact, I already have it kind of cooked up, but it's not done yet. It's pretty nice, bro. Poison and fire bows are nuts in multiple ways. And this is where the controversial advice comes into play. If you want to see more pals, increase the pal appearance rate. I'm at three right now, and now I see six pals, I believe. Six Krimisai, which I'm trying to capture. And I see no problem with this. The folks who don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm playing in my own little world. I do what I want. The folks that do like it go crazy. It's one of those things where if you want to do it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. What level do you unlock this stuff? I should have probably said that. So the homing or the seal shot is the first one you get. And that is going to cost you 50 ingots, 100 stone, 50 palladium, and 5 ancient civilization parts. Then at level 38, the scatter sphere is 50 refined ingots, 15 polymer. That's actually expensive. 50 palladium frag uh, fragments, 30 carbon fiber, and 10 ancient sieve parts. And the final one is level 50. A hundred pal metal ingots, 80 polymer, 200 pal uh, palladium fragments, 50 carbon fiber, and then 20 ancient sieve parts. For some of the more wacky builds, you'll need at least 450 to get the party bonuses you're looking for on the pals. For instance, I want to increase my neutral damage of my Tokotoku. I'm going to need four Krimises at level four. It's like 112 times four, 448. You could double dip by breeding the pals you want to power up and also catch them in the wild like I am with the Krimises right now. Although I'm kind of cutting back on the breeding aspect since it's expensive cake wise. Well, I had a little operation going. I think I had like seven or eight spots where they're just going crazy and giving eggs. But this is the part that I don't love. It takes like five seconds per egg. If not more, if you include the reloading of the egg incubator. So it's not the end of the world. And this is at the zero egg incubation time. I, I, I couldn't even fathom having to wait for eggs on anything but like a hardcore playthrough or trying to do a challenge run, I guess. When you're doing this method, you tend to over capture 
That would happen the moment this is happening. That's insane. The lucky, the luckiest unlucky player in the game. But when you're at max cap, all that happens is the balls can't go in your pal box, so instead they drop on the ground. And if you have a vendor at your base that sells pals, when you talk to them, you can actually buy them back. And chickpeas aren't that expensive, so I might just do that. Versus coming back here and picking them up. For those wondering just how useful it is to use a homing sphere launcher, this is how many chickens I have to have. 64 for just the final star. In total, it's like 112. The homing sphere launcher makes it that much easier to get this done. Fun fact here, you can actually see how many pals you have in the condenser by just clicking one you want to, I guess, condense, and it tells you in the bottom left. In inventory, 25. I believe that means... I don't know if it counts this one or not. Can you shoot while gliding with a gale? Oh, you can. Meow. I'm not sure my game stutters. It It's really unfortunate. Not the end of the world, but unfortunate. I'm playing on all low graphics. My computer isn't insane. It's not bad. I don't... I don't think. Is a 2080 Ti bad? I don't know. Maybe I can enforce something better here soon. TikTok RPM has not been hitting though. If it was hitting, I could definitely afford a better, a better PC. <laughs> but they've been slashed at RPM for these recent videos to like 30 cents, which is not good. But it be what it be. Did you just deflect the ball or your level five. Okay, so level 5 deflects. Oh, you deflected a 100% capture rate? Never mind. Probably the worst time to go hunting for certain pals is at night. If you're not looking for night pals. Because now you have the night pals that increase the, I guess, pal pool. And it means that what you're looking for will probably spawn less. Is my assumption so far. Because I have not seen a Krimisai in a while which is now my new target for reasons that will be disclosed in a new video soon after I get 400 plus which is taking a while I might get a depresso to be insane for no reason I kind of wish I could get like, I wish you could get you could somehow breed into a lucky like if you have a lucky you could breed a lucky with a lucky somehow and then get a lucky as a result. Just for the, the bigness factor. That's right. Run and tear at my speedy steed. Nightwing. The fastest mount in the game. Oh, oh, oh. I'm almost not even out. I'm not even out. I'm barely out flying a, a Kativa. This mount sucks. I had folks saying, yeah, man, Nightwing's pretty cracked, bro. Should you make a Nightwing? Pass. Hard pass. I think anything but Nightwing is actually decent.